Um, my life before Jesus, uh, I was raised in a very al uh, abusive, alcoholic family. Um, my dad's an alcoholic. Uh, I have one brother. Um, we r routinely were called ignorant, stupid, worthless, those types of things. Um, but we went to church. Um, my dad took us to church drunk. Um, Sometimes he'd pull the car over to parental discipline us on the ride home from church. So I grew up with a very negative view of church. You know, like we went and it just was all kind of pomp and circumstance to me. It didn't, didn't mean anything. Um, and so after I left my parents' house and went to college, you know, I, I wanted nothing to do with church. I wanted nothing to do with that life at all. And so, you know, I did, I looked for answers, you know, with drugs and alcohol and personal achievements and you name it, the vice, I tried it. Um, and I, I always was aware of kind of this like calling to me, like, but I ignored it, you know. And um, I came close um, the first time I got deployed to Iraq. I was, not, I was only in country a few hours the first time we were on the receiving end of of enemy contact and I was terrified and out of nowhere I started praying and I was like God you get me out of this and I will serve you the rest of my life and I had this little green Bible and I read that whole thing on my first deployment and he got me home safe and he kept his end of the bargain and I just completely forgot about mine and I went back to my old ways and I wound up divorced I wound up nearly broke um, essentially losing custody of my son um, and then I met my now wife, and we were, uh, we were at the Thanksgiving Day Parade in Chambersburg. And I remember this church float was rolling downtown, and the lady, whoever was on the float, was like, you know, shout if you love Jesus. And uh, Jess, my wife, was like, woo! And I thought, wow, that's interesting. I've, ne I've never seen anybody have that kind of reaction about Jesus. That's new. And we started dating, and I knew like when I was going to ask her to marry me, I said uh, to myself, like, hey, man, she, she really takes this Jesus thing seriously. And she never forced it on me. She never, it, she always just kind of gently leading me in this direction, you know. And so I knew I was going to ask her to marry me. And so I decided that I'm going to go to church. We're going to do this church thing. And it was December 24th, 2013. We went to King Street Church for a Christmas Eve service. And uh, we were sitting on the balcony, and the pastor was giving a sermon, and it was about a guy who... Grew up in the church, left the church. His life brought him back to living across the street from the church. And all the people that he knew in the church were seeking him, like, hey, like, why aren't you coming back to church? Thing. And it was, the, it was the craziest thing. Like, I was sitting on that balcony, and like the whole world went blurry. And it was like a tunnel of clarity between me and that pastor. And I was like, my God, he's talking to me. And I got home from that service and I just said to Jess, like, hey, I'm all in. Like, we need to do this church thing. So after I decided to accept Christ into my life, the, the, the biggest change that I, I noticed was, it wasn't like all the pain and the hurt from, from my life just magically vanished. But I, I started to come to the realization that like, that's not, I'm not defined by that. My identity is not in all those things. My identity isn't in abuse and that kind of stuff, you know, my identity is in Christ. And so while that pain didn't magically vanish, I'm, I'm equipped now to, to, to resist the negativity that comes from that, you know, because it's still, it's still part of who I am. You know, I still have those things pop up into my life, memories that pop up, but now I'm, I'm not defined by those and I'm able to rise above them because he's already won that battle for me and I don't have to worry about it. One of the members here, Rich Tardowski, texted me and said, hey, the Lord put you on my heart, blah, blah, blah. And uh, that was it. I said, okay, man, I promise you I'll come to church this Sunday. And we came and we've been coming ever since.